Hi, this is Miss Andrea. I'm here at EcoStation and I'm going to do a project with you guys on fraction bingo. So, if you've ever had to share food with siblings, I have lots of sisters, uh, you know already how to divide food evenly, right? If there's five of you and there's a pizza, we know how to cut that pizza so that everybody gets a slice, right? Equal, equal amounts. So, you kind of already know about fractions, but if you're having some trouble, let me tell you, fractions are really important. I have been seeing students struggle with fractions for all my years. This is where they get lost. So it's really important to understand it. So I figured, let's make a game out of it. Let's have some fun and let's do it with food because everybody knows how to, how to put food out equally, right? So I'm gonna show you a real quick, easy way to make a bingo card and how to make it out of food. And that way, when somebody says three fifths, you know what three fifths looks like. And it's gonna make it a lot easier when you learn how to add and subtract and multiply and divide fractions. You have to understand what the fraction is. So I'm gonna show you one of the cards that one of my students made. Um, they made a bingo card. Usually a bingo card has five uh, squares on one side and five squares on the other side. And then they have like a, in the middle, they have a um, free space. But the way I'm going to show you is four by four, it, only because it's easier to do. So if you want to do five, you can take your uh, ruler and you can um, figure out how much divided equally the side. So if, you, if you're measuring your paper, it says 11, then you divide it by five, and then each one of those squares is going to be the length that you get. So I have a feeling you're going to want to try my easier way. So. I'm going to show you how to do this. Um, before I do that, I want to thank our sponsor, ConocoPhillip, for doing this, uh, sponsoring this project. And um, I'm going to get us started. So if you have a piece of paper at home, you can use um, any kind of paper that you have. Uh, pencil, you probably need something like tops that you can trace around. Uh, if you have a ruler, that'd be great. If not, get something with a straight edge that you can make your lines with. Um, you might need some scissors and then you need something to decorate with. My students used uh, foam paper because that's what I had and we wanted to build ours up a little bit more. But you can use crayons or markers or plain old pencil if you want. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your paper and you're going to fold it hot dog style, corner to corner like that, like a hot dog. And then you're gonna fold it again, corner to corner, hot dog style. See, we're already talking about food. And then you're gonna open it up and that will have four sections on it. Now you're gonna take it and you're going to fold it hamburger style. Fold it in half, hamburger style. Doo -doo. And then you're gonna fold it again, hamburger style. And then when you open that up, there should be four squares too. So now you should have 16 squares. And that's gonna be the easiest way to get your lines. And then you're gonna take your ruler and you're just gonna fill those lines out. So uh, I happen to have my marker here with me. And you're just going to, but you can do it with a pencil, you can do it with a marker, you can do it with a pen, whatever you have available. And it doesn't have to be exact because um, we're gonna be draw doing drawings in these little squares. It's just to be able to create your card really easily. And the fun thing is you can do this um, with several people in your family. So you can play a bingo um, card. And I'm telling you, it's a lot easier to learn it this way than to try to just learn it from the formulas and from looking at plain squares and so it's better to do it like make a game of it and have some fun with it. So now I have my squares and for the fun part you get to figure out like what would you like? Um, what's going to be the easiest thing in here? So you could take like a top from a water bottle or from a juice and use that to make your circle. So let's say the, I'm going to do the first one with you. I want to make a pizza. So my pizza, I'm going to divide it into eight pizzas, eight pieces. So I'm going to move this to the side. I'm going to take my ruler. You can do it in pencil first if you're worried about making the lines right. 
And I'm gonna kind of just um, go across and up and down to make a little, a little cross right there. And then I'm gonna go to the middle of that and make another line. And then I'm going to do that again. So that will give me eight pizzas. Eight uh, pieces of pizza. And then, I'll see, what do I want on my pizza? Hmm, uh, pepperoni for sure. Okay, so I'm gonna draw some pepperonis, lots of pepperonis. Try to put some in each slice. I like mushrooms, yeah, mushrooms. So I'm gonna put a few mushrooms. Do, do, do. Maybe some tomatoes. Okay, I'm gonna stop with mushrooms because I'm gonna get too crazy on my pizza. And I like the mushrooms. So there's my pizza. And now what I need to decide is what fraction am I going to depict? So I want to say that this fraction is going to be 7 eighths. So I would say 7 eighths. Don't put it on here. This is just for me to show you what you're going to do. You don't want to have numbers on here because the whole point is that when I show you the number, you should be able to find what it looks like uh, in a picture form. So if I want it to be 7 eighths, I've got to get rid of one slice of pizza. So I'm going to darken that one slice. And let's, let's make sure that that makes sense. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven pizzas, seven slices out of eight slices. So that is 7 eighths. If I wanted to make it um, 1 eighth, I would black out every one except one piece. Does that make sense? So whatever um, is missing will be the part of the fraction. You can count all the other parts that are there to create your fraction. So you count total, if it's five and you only have three slices, then it is uh, three fifths, three out of five slices. So uh, it shouldn't be hard to think about food. Uh, I'll show you what some of my students did. They did watermelon slices, look at that. One third, there's one, two, three slices, but there's only one there, so it's one out of three. Um, look at the donut, three fourths. There's four pieces, two of them are missing. Uh, well, sorry, one of them came off. <laughs> there should be another one there. My bad. Oh look, here's a, another one that has eight pieces where it's only one piece. So eight pieces, but there's only one, one out of eight. You can do uh, pineapples, you can do cake, you can do candy. Look at this one, it's like a chocolate bar. And there are five pieces, one's missing, so it's four out of five. So you, you get to decide, this student got really, really creative and did pancakes. Look at those pancakes, they look great. Sandwiches, cookie Oreos, look at that Oreo. That's very nice. Um, donuts, so this is uh, one half. This is three fifths because there's one, two, three, four, five pieces and there's only three there. So you get the idea. After you finish decorating, and you can create one that's a free space. After you finish decorating it um, and getting all of your uh, fractions, make sure all your fractions are different. And uh, once you have all of those ready, then you can make some cards that have the fraction with them. So what you can do is pull the card out Make sure you're doing this with somebody else and you don't do your fractions in the same place, right? You don't wanna have the same bingo card. And then um, when you pull one, you'll say seven eighths and the person's gonna to have to find which one is seven eighths. So you should not have numbers on here. You should be able to look at it and be able to tell by counting how many are on there. Once you get really good at that where you can say, one, uh, five, six, and you look and you know that's five, six, then you can make it harder. You can start to do formulas. So one fifth plus one fifth is two fifths. So if I were to pull this card, you would look for two fifths on your um, bingo card. It's a lot more fun than just kind of learning it from a book. And then you can win a prize, <laughs> yes you can win a prize. It's a lot of fun to make the card, you can do a little bit of art, and then you can learn a little bit of math. It's my favorite stuff, is to do art and science, and art and math, and art and social studies, and you get the picture. I know, I like it. So, um, 
hopefully this makes it a little bit easier if you're having trouble with fractions it will give you the opportunity to kind of play um, but also learn because the more that you look at things the more that it will stick in your brain and you really have to understand fractions in order to move on to all the other maths so might as well have fun doing it don't you think i think so i like it this is miss andrea i hope you enjoy the fraction bingo today i hope you get to play um, i hope it helps you to learn and that's it for today i will see you later